Hey everyone, a uh, real quick video today because I wanted to show you something very tragic but also fun to think about. Uh, so I was watching Esam's recent tourney run with the uh, Smash World Tour and there's a part near the end where he's fighting Vendetta, this terrifying Ryu player who just beat his Pikachu and he pulls out the Esam Me Brawler. Uh, now, <laughs> speaking as a brawler main, uh, just on a gameplay and you know, more generally an aesthetic level. This brawler is of course, nothing short of a masterpiece, but there's an interaction near the end that kind of broke my heart. And I thought it would be a good excuse to talk about the training mod pack, which is an amazing tool for practicing and maybe show you how I personally practice combos in this game. So with that said, let's boot into a game on Yoshi's with the training mod pack and let's get right to it. First thing you'll notice in this mod pack is that I have bubbles around my character whenever I do a move. Uh, that's just showing the hitboxes, and I can actually bring up the menu by pressing a certain button combination, and I can turn that off. So you have full control over the mod pack, which is really cool. Um, kind of makes me really wish we had an actual training mode in the game that functioned instead of having to find an old switch and mod it to get that training mode. But shoutouts to Jugia for the amazing training mod pack. So the situation I was talking about, uh, basically Vendetta was in the air around here at jump height. So I'm going to make Ryu jump. I don't believe his full hop reaches the platform, so should be able to make him, yeah, go to the right place. Vendetta was at about 85% damage, 85, and Isam's rage was about 112%, so I'll bring that up to um, it actually, to make rage actually matter, you have to turn stale moves on. Um, fun fact, for some reason, it doesn't mention Rage at all, but it, it does. <laughs> uh, and uh, in this situation, Esam got an up air. Now, I'm actually going to save state, which is the thing I can do in the training mod pack. So whatever I do over here, I can just reset and we're back to where we were before, which is such a useful feature. I, I can't believe we don't have that in the actual training mode, um, but it's here in the mod pack. And next couple things I'm going to do very quickly. Go into the training mod pack menu. I'm going to set uh, mash to air dodge and DI to out. So now when I hit Ryu, uh, he should DI away from me and make the combos harder to get. And yeah, with that said, let's just get comboing. So what Esam actually did in this situation was up air, up air, thrust uppercut from the ground. And you'll see there it killed. But in the actual game, Esam's thrust uppercut was stale. Uh, because he'd used it, I believe, out of shield against Ryu's down tilt. So, how do we approximate staling? I have a really not convenient trick, but it works. Um, basically, I put another CPU, I hit that one, and then I take it off. And now the thrust uppercut staled, and up air, up air, thrust uppercut shouldn't... Hmm. And you know what? I need complete accuracy. We're going for complete accuracy here. So, I said 85. Uh, I was completely wrong. It was not 85. It was 84.9. And that is exactly what we are getting today. So you may be wondering, why do? That sounds great, but how do we get Ryu's percent to exactly 84.9? That seems pretty hard. Well, don't worry. It's extremely easy thanks to the training mode uh, that Nintendo has given us. Basically, uh, your second stale jab does 1.9% damage. So, I simply set the number of CPUs to two, jab this Ryu once, then set the number of CPUs back to one to get the 1v1 damage multiplier back, then set the CPU damage to 83, jab this Ryu, and boom, 84.9. It's that easy. It simply could not be easier. We reset the training mode, and boom, just like that, it's 84.9. Can I get some applause, please? Anyway, we also have to account for staling, and it seems in the Isam Vendetta footage that up air was staled once, and that thrust uppercut was also staled once. So, I can simply uh, use the same method I did before, where number of CPUs two, uh, stale up air and thrust uppercut, then set it back to one. And yes, I do kind of have to do that every time, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but that should let us get the exact situation that Esam had. All right, so with all that done, um, time to combo. What the hell was that? 
Oh God. Okay. Um. All right. So that's the exact situation that Isam was in versus Vendetta, and we can see that the Thrupper combo didn't kill there. Um, even though it totally would kill if it were fresh and uh, the up air were fresh as well. So the question becomes, what could Isam have done in that situation to kill? So first thing that came to mind as somebody who has played Brawler for a long time is that uh, when I watched the clip, I saw that Isam didn't jump when he did a thrust uppercut. He just did a grounded thrust uppercut, uh, which is great for linking combos, but with Thrupper, you want to drag them as far as possible to the top blast zone to get that KO uh, because the upper drags them with you. Um, and Gaggle, who's a very technical brawler player, actually has a really useful guide on killing with Thrust Evercut, which I'll link to in the description. Uh, definitely check that out. But yeah, uh, that's just what I saw. Now it's time to put that to the test. So I set up Staling and I should hit Ryu in the right place for this and try to kill him. I jumped there and yeah, look, because I jumped, I was able to get that kill on Ryu and it was all true. But you'll notice that the combo counter didn't say it was a true combo. Um, and that's because Ryu's air dodge is frame three. So as long as you hit him uh, before that third frame, it'll still be a true combo, but it won't say it. But Ryu actually has a frame one combo breaker, as many of you are probably thinking right now, in focus attack, right? Uh, so will it work on focus attack? That's a different question entirely. But I figure yes, because thrust uppercut is a multi-hit and it should eat right through. For some reason, these things are so much harder to hit while recording than in actual matches. It's like, once I'm recording, oh man, I mess it up all the time. All right, all right. So, I've got Ryu back, and let's do it. All right, there you go. So that was the exact situation that Isam was playing in the actual game against Vendetta, and Ryu was mashing Folk's attack, his fastest frame one combo breaker, and I was able to kill. Um... So yeah, that just speaks to me, like, to how many stupid little subtleties there are in playing me, Brawler. Like, Esam is just, like, astronomically better of a player than me in general, of course. He's a top player. But, like, you have to play Brawler for a while to get these stupid little subtleties. And it's been really fun watching Esam develop this character because you get the feeling that, like, give it a little bit more time, this man is going to be even more of a monster than he already was. Because he had it! He had the game against Vendetta! All he had to do was know this one stupid trick for killing with me, Brawler. Uh, Ryu mains hate him. It's just one little thing he had to know to combo with me, Brawler. And there's lots of little stuff like this. Um, but yeah, uh, even though, like, this whole thing with the stale moves and everything and the training mod pack setup, it looks, like, awful and horrible to, to set up. Um, I gotta say it is pretty fun. It's very like Zen to, to just practice and you know do your combos. Um, let's see if we, if we turn mash to like air dodge um, and turn off focus attack like as a normal character and don't bother with the staling stuff for now. I find it very relaxing to just like practice different combos in different situations. Like for example here, I might do like up air, up air, back air, and try to get that consistent. That is hard. Up air, back air. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun to like lab these things out and then you ask all these fun questions like oh Maybe I should hit the back hit of up air to get more frame advantage like up air Up air back hit up air back air and that looks closer to being true So keep laughing it and then you get it and it feels really good to land that um, So there's like a lot of that feeling of discovery with the training mod pack in particular um, that I wish could it be extended to every player who bought this game because I think they'd find it a lot more fun um, but, of course, you have to use a third-party training mode to get that, but... Once you do, I swear, it's, it, it's worth it. Definitely look into the training mod pack if you have a modable switch. Um, sadly, it, it doesn't work on emulators yet, but hopefully, one day it will. I'm actually really glad that I'm doing this about something that happened in one of Esam's games, because he actually made a video back in Smash 4 called, like, One Player Practice is Important, and it was pretty eye-opening for me personally, that's like the level of effort required to, you know, get these precise combos. You don't, you aren't born, you know, doing sick Pikachu combos. You have to practice that stuff. So it was like, oh, all these players are working a lot to get to where they are. That's pretty cool. There we go. All right, so up air. Yeah, look at that. Like you could just suck them to the top blast zone. But yeah, in conclusion, 
that's what ECM could have done, and I would have... I mean, I was already really happy to see the ECM meet Brawler, and I really hope he pulls out again, but... Like, if he got that, that kill with Thrust Uppercut on Yoshi's story, I would have screamed, man. That would have been amazing. But good stuff to Esam playing Brawler. It's always really fun to watch, and I always learn stuff from it. But uh, in terms of Brawler tech, oh, man, if Esam pushed it to, like, the next level, like, I'm not saying drop Pikachu and sell your soul to me, Brawler, Esam, but please do that, all right? Just do that. <laughs> um, yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. I'm still working on the uh, buffs video and everything. I just wanted to make this real quick because it's something I thought about. So, uh, yeah, see you next time. Also, go to the coldest water bottle store and use promo code YDU to get 10% off your order and uh, give me money. Thanks.